So hi everybody and welcome. This is a Unreal Engine Blender tutorial in which I create a static mesh in Blender and export it to Unreal Engine. But in this video, we are concentrating on how to set the X axis and the Y axis and the Z axis. So to do so, first of all, I started to create a static mesh, which you can see here. It's a simple, strange looking, shapey static mesh. And here, before we export this static mesh now, we have to talk about the axis before. Here on the right corner, you can see we have here X, Z and Y. And when we watch this axis, we see X on this direction is positive x is here. When we watch y, positive y goes here. And when we watch z, positive z goes there. And that is a very important note. Let's watch the negative ones too, because when we watch it from here, this would be negative uh, y, and negative x would be here. And negative set would be go down. So why is this very important later for our translation to Unreal Engine? Because Unreal Engine has not the same direction what we have here. In Unreal Engine we have x is forward. So this one is forward, which is right now this one here, which goes in this direction here. And Z is the same. So what we have to change here is actually very simple. We have just to change X and Y, which we can make by setting uh, X as forward. And that's when that is that what we are going to do. So I want now export the static mesh. So I go to file down to export as FBX. I click on it and then I have to set here something because this is just a test so you can test it around too. I have select first just the selected object uh, because I want just export this one mesh here. Then I select here object type is a mesh. Yes. Then I go down and here I change this one forward to X because in Unreal Engine, like I said, it's the forward direction is X and in Blender, what you can see right now is Y, which is here, which goes here down behind. This is the positive direction. And then set is up that stays. I don't apply units here and I don't apply transform, but of course you can test this more. Uh, perhaps you is useful. It's just a test for uh, from my side, which will work. And then I change here uh, geometry from fa uh, smoothing to face because it's a static mesh. I want uh, the faces are smooth and apply modifiers here as well, because if you have changed the static mesh, which this was a cube, so I changed it and I want, of course, apply the modifiers, which I have used on it. So that's set armature, nothing because we have no armature and big animations, nothing as well. So this is the setting what I have here. Then I go to my project settings, which is in documents, Unreal Engine projects. In my case, I use this project runner final free. And there I go to content because it's the place where you have to go uh, and can import your files. Then we name our project a little bit better. Test static mesh. And then we click on export. And now we are finished here. We switch to Unreal Engine. In Unreal Engine here, where it pops up on the left and the right side, this menu, we click on import. And here we have select some options too. What I changed there is skeletal mesh. No, it's a static mesh, so don't use that. Uh, generate missing collisions. It depends if you want. I don't want. I can make it myself later too, if I want. And here I changed this 
a normal generation mesh to build in because I had sometimes problems and I think all other things you can keep or change uh, on your needs. The next thing is here um, in transform I changed nothing but here on miscellaneous this one I change convert scene not to convert scene because we made this already manual now and that's it I think so far import textures I don't have textures here actually you can make this if you have these are just uh, additional settings and so you can check this but this was all the important settings and we click now import all so right now we have imported our mesh i show you in a moment where we have it so we have it here down and when i click and drag it here down what we can see we uh, i said we have to talk about the axis right and in blender this was our forward direction and when we you watch here now the x-ax right in unreal engine here we are in the x-axis here uh, our forward direction and yes that is right in blender it was the y let's compare it with blender let me open this one you see in blender we have it oops nah if i can scroll here you can see the y is the forward axis here and here is it's showing and in unreal engine now we have x forward axis perfect and set this up and x that's our uh, y is now right so this works one more note you see often in online forums or other places they use instead not x they use minus x what happens there why they use minus x actually it is not that wrong because what will happen is ah let's demonstrate what happened so let's see i export this one with minus x what you see on many 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 forums and so here's minus x that is that what they say and set up and let's call this one two the second one all other settings i keep because there is not much changing uh, right now and export fbx and now i go to unreal engine let me go there in yes and then i say import and we have a problem we have a problem there oh no i messed up Okay, that's not very important now. I don't. Ah, I know why I messed up. Oops. I have not selected this one. And yeah, sorry for that one. Yeah. No. Okay, one fast. We just changed this one fast to three. Now it is selected. Uh, so this one is selected. And this should work now. Okay. Now we go to Unreal Engine, it comes and it pops and we keep all the settings from before I make import. And now what you can see is the minus X, what they use most time in forms and so on. It looks like so, it is the opposite. So is this, the question is now, is this now wrong or right? Um, actually, it is wrong when you say from the start point but you can make a easy uh, trick just rotate this one 180 uh, is this 180 i'm blind right now yeah whatever let's see this is 180 i can't see it right now because here whatever <laughs> here's the light okay let's say this is 180 and you can see now it is identical to this one what we have here so the difference here is only on this one you have to do nothing so when you just drag this one is the first one which we have when you drag this out it has the right 
orientation from start what you made in Blender. On the other side, with the minus X word many use, it is not the absolute right orientation because this one is if uh, because this one is our front view and this one is pointing to minus X, right? But it is not a big mistake. I mean, you can just change it like I did here with a rotation and you have the same results like here. It's possible. But in animations and rigging of characters, I don't know if this is a good solution here. But yeah, I don't have tested this so far. Anyway, perhaps I will in the future. So see you there. I think that was it for this video. Bye.